as we move through our animation, you'll note that our circle begins to rotate as it moves through the path. Okay, what these will represent is that these are going to represent cross sections of a lofted surface, of a, a swept lofted surface. Now let's go back to frame one. That's working properly. Now let's go up to our animate menu. Create animated sweep. And we'll use timer. Oops. We want to make sure that our end is at 24 because we want it to go all the way through the time range. Okay, and now we have several options for how we want to generate our surface. For right now, we'll use it, leave it at uniform and at NURBS, and we'll apply that. And here we've created our Mobius surface. And I want to move this over to the side here right now. And as I shade this, you can see how that circle transforms as we move across that shape. Okay. Now, I'm going to hit Control Z because I want you to see some of the options that you have with your animated sweep. Okay. Um, right now, we used we can do a linear surface. A linear surface will give you a more geometric and hard edge translation of your surface okay you can also choose to um, you can also choose to output it as polygonal data personally I don't like using this option the way that I like to transform it to polys would be to output a NURBS object and I'm going to change this to cubic which means it's more curve like okay and once I've output that object and I can close this window for right now uh, what I would then do is to go into my modify convert NURBS to polygons option and bring up the options window and I like to use count I want quads and I'll keep it at 200 for right now and now I can close this window select my surface object oops select surfaces Now I have a polygonal object with nice quads that I can then, if I like to, I could go into my faces mode, select my faces, and then begin to run some of the polygonal operations that we talked about in some of our early tutorials. Oops. such as our bevel and our extrude tool to define and to shape our Mobius geometry. And that's where the fun begins. And that's just as good a place to end as any and that's how you go about creating a Mobius geometry within Maya. Hope you have fun with that.